Looks like it's time for some bolting. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Disney's animated Hercules film. This has been, for a very, very long time, my favorite animated Disney movie. For years, I would watch this whenever it was on TV. I have always gone out of my way to watch this any chance I've ever had. When this whole quarantine stuff happened and I had a bad day, I decided to watch it because I knew it would cheer me up. And it did! However, some of the movie's faults became a little obvious to me. I still love the movie, don't get me wrong, but I now see the criticisms that people had of the movie a little bit more clearly. It's not a perfect movie. Let's be straight up about that. It's got some issues. It's not as good as Mulan. Mulan is definitely the far better movie, but I still love this movie. It's a great interpretation of the character and all the Greek legends and everything like that. The artistic style definitely deserves some compliments, and just the general aesthetic of Greek art was really well interpreted into this film. The soundtrack is also really, really good. I love the sisters in this movie. They have several really good songs and that's because Alan Menken once again was helping out with the soundtrack. He didn't win an Oscar for this like he usually does, however they did have the magnificent Bolton who had his Oscar robbed. I Will Go The Distance is one of my favorite songs, both the movie version as well as the magnificent Bolton. James Woods, as crazy as the weirdo is, is fantastic as Hades, one of the best voice castings ever in Disney history in my opinion. His humor is top notch, his inflections are fantastic, he makes the character. He's one of those guys that could definitely not be replaced. But again, going back to the points of kind of contention with the film, it does follow an incredibly formulaic script. It has everything by the numbers in this film, even though some of those moments are really good. And some of them do deviate. For instance, Meg is kind of a different Disney princess. I mean, she's not even a princess. She's just kind of a hustler, if anything. And I like that she has those flaws to her character. It gives some variance to the normal cliches that we're so used to with these types of movies. Danny DeVito is also really, really funny. He's got some pretty goddamn good lines too. And even when the cliffhanger happens, even though you know everything thing is going to go exactly the way you think it. When he jumps into the well of souls and the thread is held up and the music gets really intense, I still get a little bit like, <gasps> yes, while the story is predictable and some moments are not exactly as well formulated or if anything at all original like they should be, it doesn't really take away from the overall experience. This is a movie that could definitely be enjoyed by both kids and adults and there's some jokes that I didn't even get when I watched this when I was younger. So while there are some flaws with the movie, the animation is still pretty decent. The voice acting, actually that's something else I gotta talk about. The guy who plays Hercules is He's okay, he's not great, he's not bad either, but he's very middle of the road. Even the woman who plays Meg is much more interesting in terms of an inflection, in terms of an original voice compared to Hercules. I never remember the guy who played Hercules. Never remember this dude. In the end, I think that this is a great film to watch, especially with everything going on. It's a really fun movie to watch, and it is one of my favorites. It is still one of my favorites. Is it as high on a pedestal as it used to be? No, Mulan rightfully took it back, but I still love this movie just the same. It's a great fun time to watch both with friends and with family. In the end, I'm going to give the animated Hercules movie a 5 out of 7. Sorry it took me so long to review this, I actually watched the movie like three weeks ago, but it just took so much for me to say something negative about Michael Bolton. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.